Hi, my name is Barbara and I'm on my way to Canada on the through hike of the Continental Divide Trail in a total 3000 miles and I'm soon 1400 miles in. <clears throat> right now I'm on my way to the last uh, top which is higher than 12,000 feet in Colorado in the Rocky Mountains. I'm soon on the top. Up there is a little shelter and um, <coughs> I was actually planning to speak a little bit about the fire closure what we have in the national park here. We had to skip a whole day trail, CDT trail because of a fire which burned down 10% of the park last autumn. Uh, but I can see that there is weather coming in and quite quick actually. So I think I just take it briefly. <clears throat> I start to feel that this is not only weather, it's as well smoke. Even I don't, I don't smell anything. I don't see anything. If I look at the sun, it looks like there is smoke in front, but I'm not so sure right now. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, this shelter does look safe in case of a thunderstorm. It, uh, it's really a weather shelter. I think there is a reason for it. It's like I have seen now how quick the weather comes. But um, I changed now. I got dressed a bit better and <clears throat> I still will make my way down to the, to the forest areas. Uh, but just a few words about this fire closure what we now met in the National Park, Rocky Mountains National Park. It seems that it was really a very, very heavy fire last autumn, <clears throat> which was uh, for some reason very luckily stopped by fog and sudden snowfall in some end of October, so that the little town Grand Lake was saved. <clears throat> This fire has been destroying 100,000 acres land forest per day and um, this, the part from the national park was 30,000 acres, which is 10% of the whole national park. So this meant that they had to close the <clears throat> this sort of uh, 25 mile buckle through the park of the CDT. It's very dangerous to be in these forests because the trees or forests, rest of forests, the trees are very weak. They can come down with whenever, in particular when there is a little bit wind as well. There has been growing already some plants. One of the first flower which is coming besides a little bit grass is actually fireweed. I think this flower might have got the name also because of this, because it's mostly after the forest fires, the first flower coming up. Forest fires are really dangerous and it's really heavy on everything. It destroys everything, but uh, the nature does need it. It's um, from this dead, it's growing new life. If a forest is burnt down like this, like we have seen it, it uh, takes <coughs> up to 100 or more years that it will look like again, like it has been before. It takes really, really many, 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 many years. I personally don't like to walk, hike in these areas. Not that I would be afraid, but it kind of makes me sad. It's, it's sort of this dead feeling jumps over to my mood. It's um. I don't feel good, I don't feel happy, I don't even want to make lunch there and absolutely not stay over. But uh, now I really feel that I would like to make my way down. I still have 
quite some way to go. It's half past six in the evening. I think I should make some four or five miles to the next water source still. Oh, there is even mosquitoes up here. Good morning. Uh, I'm sitting here more or less on the tree line. There is a bunch of mosquitoes. It's really quite many right now. Already in the early morning. Um, yeah, and I can now clearly say that the clouds yesterday pulling in, that this was smoke and not any kind of weather. Uh, I can see it now on the sunlight. It's sort of not clear, it's pretty weak and it's sort of slightly foggy all over. So um, this is a clear sign. Additionally, I definitely can smell now the smoke. Very light, but I can smell it. So there must be somewhere a forest fire. It could be far away since the winds they can carry the, the clouds, the, the smoke clouds pretty far. But anyway, <coughs> yeah, of course I ended up yesterday camping in one of these burned areas, which I really don't like. I tried to sort of leave it, but it started to be dark and I am i really didn't know when it stopped, so I just had to set up camp. But um, yeah, I slept well. It's uh, like shortly mentioned yesterday, it's kind of a little bit dangerous since these trees are not really strong anymore. Um, but it was very, very wind still, so I didn't see too much risk. Of course they still can fall, but um, I was fine. I woke up again. Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit weird. I right now don't know where I'm really going. Um, of course I know I should hit tomorrow Steamboat Springs, my next resupply stop. And finally I want to go to Canada. But the trail is sort of different now. There is not any kind of special high points where which I have to time and um, for the thunderstorms. The trail is just rolling a little bit above or below the tree line. Uh, this means that I'm slowly leaving the mountains and later on as well Colorado pretty soon. Uh, which sort of makes me sad. I really love mountains, but on the other hand, I am a bit tired in the body to be all the time on high elevations with a lot of climbs and a lot of downhills. Uh, mentally, partly a bit not stressed, but uh, forced, uh, partly worrying about these thunderstorms. So it kind of um, as well feels nice to just be able to walk uh, without thinking too much on lower elevations. Um, so uh, yeah, another time starts again, another section and soon anyway, uh, I'll enjoy the transmission right now and the beautiful day again. <laughs>